Let's get into the news and music. So Lil Nas X, Sun Goes Down. Let me tell you about you, Lil Nas. Ooh, be careful. He's an Aries. <laughs> what he, what's she going to do? <laughs> Not Sheree. No. <laughs> the video was great. Like, I love the video. I tried to do, like, a live reaction to it. So some of the people that may see this on YouTube, you know, I, I seen a couple of y'all hop on this morning. They done flagged my shit. They done turned, they done blocked the whole thing. I'm like, you know what? I can't do a reaction video no more. I'm like, I feel bad for people that actually do YouTube for reaction videos. Cause it's like, I see, I see them try to like, they be trying, they be playing it, but they have to like mute it at some point and, and go back and do something so that they, they won't get the copyright claim or whatever. I'm like, I thought I was just going to get the copyright claim that says you can't monetize from the video, which doesn't matter. Cause I'm not like, a YouTube partner yet, but like, no, they took the whole shit off. I was like, damn, <laughs> nobody can see it. They clipped it. Bye. <laughs> no, ma'am. A, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You can't do that. <laughs> no, but but the video was great. Like, I would say, and the music was good too. I thought it was going to be like a rap song. I'm not going to hold you. I thought it was going to be that. I you said something about that. Yeah, well, it was, it was another song, you know, singing and it was pretty good. It was. I mean, I like it. I like it. I, I would definitely see myself listening. Did you listen to it? Lord, all these rappers that don't rap. I'm sorry. What were you saying? Because <laughs> he was showing snippets of songs where he was rapping. I'm like, you always do that, but then don't drop it. <laughs> but okay, fine. I'll wait. But um, this is good too. It was like it was the video was like a memoir. Watch the video. Of, huh? I did watch the video. I heard the song. Okay, so you did watch the video. Okay, yeah, I can't do, do, do what I'm explaining. <laughs> I'm having his job at Taco Bell and working and being gay and, and being, being a, a Nas Mirage. Yeah, mm. okay, it's good. It's good that he was able to put himself into his music in that way. I think he actually does that a lot too, and that's one thing that I do I appreciate about Lil Nas X is that he uses his art to kind of tell and paint his story in the yeah. um, fantastic way that he can. Mm-hmm very like fantasy but it's really real to him so i appreciate i appreciate the video and i appreciate the message because there are still uh, to this day uh hundreds of thousands of kids who who struggle with just being comfortable being themselves um, right so good for him i don't know if this is i don't know if this song will be number one um but i thank you for trying oh stop like, that you know, no I'm, what i mean is like i'm glad that you put it out but i just i don't know how much impact it's gonna have radio i can see it being a really playing from darren's iphone see this girl i cannot i'm about to get a new alexa like for real really cute song it's really nice but yeah really really nice gowns really nice gowns not (laughs) really really good gowns (laughs) no um he's he's, you know it it might do something it might it might impact the 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 billboard charts like i said not number one maybe um, this is uh, this is something that's more subtle. Record. You don't know. Well, but yeah, you know. never know. You never know. Hey, <laughs> but if this was definitely this was good. You know, a lot of people ain't nobody had nothing to say. Okay, he done scale back. Okay, not with right. the, like he ain't bringing the devil this time. All he right, ain't bringing the devil this time. All right, I'm done. I'm good. He said what he said, and he moved on to something else. So. Okay. It's a good video. I like his videos. I really do. Yeah. Visuals is amazing. Yeah. I mean, Lord, just give me a budget. Ah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> not 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 with the hand is hey. You listen to uh the twerk you listen to the twerkulator? It's time for the twerkulator. It's time for the twerkulator. It's giving very much evolution of the era. Well, here's my thing, because I show my dad the video the song not the video, the song. Mm-hmm. He's a DJ. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 I never told you that. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know you can't. Yeah, yeah, he he did he dabbled in DJing and stuff like that. Like, so he listens to music. He knows that sample. What you knew the sample, right? What's the song? Um, yeah, Planet Rock. Planet Rock. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Everybody well, knows that sample. huh? Say everybody know that sample. Yeah, you know I don't, I'm not good with names. I was little when that came. <laughs> 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 well he said that it was too it was too copy and paste well he said it was too copy and paste like he literally they just literally took the song and just rapped on it they took like, the later and put it on on playing rock beat like uh, i mean but that's what music is given now 
You gotta be smart. Like yeah. Well, you I mean, make it catchy because people ain't got time. No, seriously. Mm-hmm. Like rappers, I'm gonna share a story that I'm probably haven't shared on here before, but mm-hmm. when I first moved to New York back in 2012, I my EP dropped December 12, 2012. Mm-hmm. And we went to the, I was at Rough Rider Studio. We were working with a, a battle rapper. I'm not going to say his name. Um, and I let him listen to my EP. And right. got to Rihanna Poppin and was like, yo, you can really rap. And me in the backseat just like, can I for real? This is my can first I, for real? <laughs> I can rap for real. And he said, but you sound like you got a degree. And I was like, um, I do have a degree. <laughs> He was like, yeah, well, that's never gonna sell because if you're trying to, he said, if you're trying to go commercial, if you're gonna go mainstream, like you have to give, you have to dumb it down a little bit. And I was kind of mm-hmm. offended by that. I was like, well, shouldn't I be trying to make people raise the bar a little bit? It was like, not if you're trying to make money. You have to make it dumb enough so that the people with the lowest common denominator can play your song, enjoy mm-hmm. it. You don't have to think too much about it. They can remember the words. They're gonna shake that ass before the next song comes. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's music, right? So it kind of made me change the formula in which in, in how I write now. I still kind of you know get my little slick nerd puns in sometimes, but like that's what works right now. Like we just want to dance, we want this quick, and I want to be able to remember the song. It's time for the turkey later. It's time, it's time, for, time for the turkey later. It's time for the turkey later. It's time for the now. If they do a video, if no they do a, remember this song. If they do a video, I want this thing to be like family reunion style. Okay, we out there to, with, with the DJ out there, y'all on the dance floor, and then. Y'all go into it's time for the turkulator. It's time for the turkey. You're like, what is that? And then they, then they get into the video. That would be we want nostalgia. We want nostalgia. Cause that's what that's what this song gave us, like kinda, right? Yeah. A little bit this gave us, yeah, a little bit of a little bit of nostalgia. I don't know. I mean, I, I guess what my dad was trying to say was it was when we think of something that's sampled, well, we think of like a not him. But me, when I think of something that's sampled, like they use parts of it to make something new, like a mm-hmm. Kanye West song or Jay Z. Jay Z does a lot of sampling where it sounds different, but you still kind of can hear Kanye as well, huh? He said Jay Z. like those beats were made by Kanye as well. Oh, oh well, oh okay, well. <laughs> I mean, even Nikki, even Nikki, when she did Anaconda, like it was, and and you you listen to Anaconda and you listen to Baby Got Back. It's right. too like it's the only thing she got that's similar to that song is that my Anna kind of don't want nothing unless it got buns on, but it sounds nothing, almost nothing like Baby Got Back. You get what I'm saying? Right. Just, yeah. yeah. Flip it. Like she changed, she flipped it. There we go. There, there's the word. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, it, look, it's still good. You know, people been waiting for this shit. They like, look, it's out. It's, it is what it is. It sound good. I'm still dance to it if I hear it in the club. Or an, or at a kickback, because that's what I do now, honey. Because since Carnova kickback, right. so <laughs> Carnova pandemic, you just gotta. It's pandemic, right? Um, you heard that J Cole album? No. J Cole got an album. Ooh, I didn't stop. know. He's a basketball player now. I didn't know I was gonna get an album from him. Yeah, he's a basketball player. You told you so, you told me that earlier. I'm like, I thought this was this. First of all, let me see. Hold on. Let me let me look. Let me. I mean, I play it for they sit there and flag this damn podcast. Hold on. Yeah, uh, the off season. That's what his album is called, and this is a picture of a flaming basketball Ooh, court. Basketball court. Oh, nice. Yeah, and he got all his words. It's like all his letters in, in his albums spaced out. Like I'm like, what is this? Mm-hmm. People can't even type it in. Like, <laughs> I will say this: my life is a good one. That's that got uh, Twenty One Savage and more Ray. It kind of reminds me of a lot, and it's like that sounds like a lot. Like we did that before, but it was still kind of good. I did also like ap- apply pressure and punch the clock. That's about it, you know. You know, I grew up in the age of J. Cole, and like, I never really gave him a chance because I feel like people in my school, my high school rather, was really aggravating about. Like, it was like, if you're not a J. Cole fan, you know, that just says something about your intelligence. Like, like I like shut him. up, shut up talking to me. <laughs> 
Right. Like, come on now. Like, like and I did like Kendrick. Like, <laughs> Kendrick was, he's a good rapper. I, I feel that it, it's, it's like the fans just turn me off from this artist. But when I actually listen to some of his songs, it, it's pretty dope. I mean, it's, it's pretty dope. You know, I didn't give him a chance because, you know, fan bases make you dislike people. <laughs> okay. I heard that. I heard about that somewhere. <laughs> oh, not us. <laughs> not Barb's. Yeah, but like, I think I heard something about that. I heard the fan base is be kind of, no, the mm-hmm. beehive. But I heard that. Like, I mean, the fan base, are, all right, Barb's are not narcissistic, though. Like, we're not calling y'all stupid because y'all don't, because y'all might want to listen to Cardi rather than Nikki, or y'all want to listen to Meg or what well, Meg can rap. Um, the City Girls or Saweetie. <laughs> I'm not trying to be shady. Oh my god! Oh Jesus! These damn party gangs—they they gonna get me. Lord, <laughs> Thank look, you. I can't. I can't. <laughs> but like, we're not calling y'all stupid because y'all don't listen to Nikki and, and don't understand her bars and what she really means. And well, some of us do. Well, some of us do, but it's not a big number. It's not as much as J. Cole fans are. Like, they really call yo ass dumb. Well, I remember this one person. I ain't gonna say his name. But we used to go to school there. He, he was cool. He was cool. But like, I remember he showed me a video, one of Jake Cole's music videos, and it was about these two dogs in love or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm like, why? I, why are we doing this? Why? What, what? I don't even know what song it was by him, but it was just weird. It's, it's, it's giving very much bestiality. But anyway, dogs in love. <laughs> yes, it was. The video was about the dogs. I don't. I, I don't even remember. J. Cole fans would know this. Sure. And I'm like, I don't like. I was like, I don't get why it is. Oh, you just don't have the mindset. Like you're just not, you're not mentally there. Like I'm like, shut up. Okay, I'd be like, I'm right. glad. I, y'all smoking because I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. I don't know what the hell you talk about. I'm in, I'm not mentally there. Okay, well, <laughs> like you know what, you're right, and that's fine. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Mm-hmm. I'm like, look, and, and J Cole's a really good artist. Like, I mean, after I got past all the bullshit. And I grew up, and I was like, and I started looking back at some of his older songs. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. he ain't a rapper. I ain't got nothing against him. It's just his fans. Like it's just ugh. like know, vegans. Know. It's like vegans trying to trying to swarm me in. Like I don't give a fuck that you're vegan. Just don't force it down my throat. Creds to uh, Doge Cap. Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Well, go ahead and stream the off season if you are a J. Cole fan. If you're not, check it out. You know, wouldn't hurt to try. Anyway, stream all day music, stream off season, stream sun goes down, stream turkey later. It's time for the turkey. Stream, seeing green. Okay. Ooh. Stream fractions. And fractions. <laughs>